Merry Christmas, guys. Good to see you. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, being a little bit shorthanded today and not having TK, um, you know, really had to be a, a connected team effort. And I thought we got that. We got contributions all around. Um, I thought our defense was really good, especially the first eight minutes of the game. We were really dialed in. Uh, and we've been playing better defense, go back to South Carolina, some of these games. So I feel like we're really making improvements on the defensive end of the floor. Um, but to get the contributions from Rob, his 19 and six steals, Max was 16 points. And, um, you know, off the bench to get L.A. and Nick, their contributions. We need every every bit of it. Um, even when we had a double digit lead, we knew it was going to be like they're a really tough team. Obviously, the teams in the Valley are really physical. Uh, so we knew they weren't going to go away. We watched them against you know, other high-level opponents just continue to compete. And uh, I thought our guys did a good job weathering the storm and, and making the key plays to, to put the game away. Questions for Max and for Rob. Rob, it feels like you've kind of embraced a little bit of a role of, of the closer for this team. You've obviously, the game winner a few weeks ago, but then tonight uh, looked like you kind of were real comfortable with the ball in your hands. Just how do you, as the game is winding down, kind of embrace that role of the ball's going to be in my hands and i got to make a play? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't say a closer. You know, I like to I like to we run some action down the stretch, you know, for Max to, to close out games too. But if I need to have the ball in my hands, I do feel comfortable in my hands, and uh, I'm really just trying to make a play for others when I have it when I have the ball in my hands. It just ends up that uh, I keep the ball, <laughs> but I'm really trying to make a play for everybody else, spread the team out, get into our cash action. It's just a little like high ball screen and try to make a play to get us the best shot. But uh, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> Rob, there were, it seems like at this point in the season you've been through enough ups and downs and it seems like this game had plenty of them. How do you think you guys weathered that, um, especially in the second half? Yeah, I mean, like Coach said, um, I mean, I, I, pers- I don't know if everyone knew, but I personally knew even if we got up a lot, um, the other team was going to keep fighting because it just – we were watching film and they were playing at Virginia Tech, I think, and there was maybe 31 seconds left on the clock. Mm-hmm. I mean, they are down 20 points and – their whole bench is up clapping. Their whole bench, they're trying to take the ball to the rim as hard as they can. You know, so I knew what game we were coming into. So when we went up a little bit, I still knew that like we had to stay together and stay connected because this, they weren't going to stop. You know, they're going to keep coming and keep coming. So like, give credit to them, but give credit to us. You know that we weathered the storm and we look like a older team out there closing it uh, at the end of the game. Max, where, how would you provide an assessment of where y'all stand defensively? Coach Taylor talked about how he feels like y'all have improved. Just where do y'all feel like you still need to grow? You, you allowed Valpo to shoot over 60% in the second half. So where do you feel like you stand defensively and how can you play as well as you did for the first eight minutes throughout a whole game? I think, like, like you said, we started off well uh, in the first half, but I think from where we are on the defensive end at the start of the year to now, we're much much better and I think as we'll, now we're in conference play uh, we handled the game uh, late game better and I think with more reps uh, we're going to get better as we are a young team as well. How important Max was it to win a game like this? You haven't won a game like this in a while you had some you know you won a couple of blowout um, games. And yeah no it's great it's great game. going into conference like uh, the great winning and went against uh, Valpo who were a tough team like we were talking about that's a kind of conference game that we're going to expect going into. Uh, so it's a great to go into it uh, into William Mary on the Thursday. Thursday. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> I know, so everyone knows. Never, no one knows what day of the week is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Max, what have you told Rob and some of your newer teammates about CAA play and, and what to expect now you're shifting into CAA? I think just it's suited it's a physical league and like we just said, Valpo had. 35 rebounds like they just crash the glass and super physical you're going to get hit on cuts uh i think just getting getting used to that and then uh when we play william and mary and then we play those other teams like uh wilmington and charleston those super physical teams who run 10 deep they don't stop so i think uh we're gonna get used to it but yeah robert you there was a crazy run there down the stretch of the guys team scored uh, eight points in like 11 seconds and mm-hmm. got the last few of those. Mm-hmm. What was going on at that point? And with, uh, I mean, that was on the ground, I think, when you got the ball near midcourt and then the... Uh, yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was a huge run in the game, you know, that was a very key factor in the game. Um, 
you know, the kid uh, just tried to throw it up the sideline, just read his eyes. You know, I didn't think he was going to throw it because I jumped early, actually, and then he, like, fell and threw it. Then he, he fell down, and I went past him, and I saw L.A. run into the corner. I tried to fake it, and the kid, like, barely, then I just threw it up and went in. <laughs> Probably could have got it to LA because he hit two threes. So he hit two threes. Eight, he did. Three. He yeah. did. I was telling him to go for a lap, though. Oh, yeah. yeah I think he ran to three point line, right? Yeah. 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 I, was, I saw him. But he hit a three during that sequence, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Broken play three. Did the defender bite on that fake behind the back? I think pass slightly. <laughs> yeah. I think slightly because I don't, I think he would have blocked it because that kid was athletic. But mm-hmm. I don't know, remember his name. Max, that's a move out of, out of your pocket, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> After the Aussie bag. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are, are you guys going to like getting into conference play where there, I guess there's more structure and the schedule and that type of thing? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited, you know. It's my last go around and I've never been in the CAA, you know, the conference play. I'm very excited, you know, and I'm just hoping that uh, we can continue to grow as a team, you know. I mean, seven and six and out of conference is like, it's like, that's, I mean, I don't even know if any of my, at my other school, if I ever went uh, over 500 conf- out of conference, you know, so it, that's a big deal for me and, uh, I think that, like, for our team, you know, we should definitely be proud of that. But, like, going into conference play, if we could build on this, you know, keep getting better as a team, we're going to be all right. Thanks, Rob. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll take your water with you. You spoke to it during your opening statement a little mm-hmm. bit about you know, contributions from Nick Dorn, but mm-hmm. I'd love to hear what you thought of Dorn, Casey, and uh, Isaac today, just and where you feel like how you've seen them grow so far this year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought Isaac's minutes were good. You know, Isaac doesn't always, it doesn't, you know, he gets two baskets, he makes a three. Um, he's been shooting the ball so well. So, you know, we knew he was due to make, you know, a, a perimeter shot for us. Uh, makes three for three from the line, so eight points for him in, in nine minutes was was really impactful. And I, you know, I've forgotten to mention him. Even in, in, you know, his contribution off the bench was huge. Uh, gets fouled on a three and, and steps up and makes three free throws, kind of as they're making a run. So, Kendall, his his ability to to really be a deterrent in ball screen defense is critical for us. Uh, you know, I think he'll still continue to get better contesting at the rim. He had a couple that were really good. Uh, and you kind of see moments where it's like he, he's really close. He's really close to breaking through. Uh, but to see those freshmen continue to grow like that. Uh, and again, Nick's contribution. Nick's been a little bit more consistent with his offensive contribution. But uh, it's really great to see those freshmen step up and help us. What is TK's status? No, he turned his ankle, so at this point, he's just kind of day-to-day. So it's not long-term? Yeah. yeah. Hope not. What did you feel like you got out of, uh, you know, obviously you didn't have TK tonight, but you also put uh, DeAndre into the starting lineup. So mm-hmm. Zach and DeAndre, what did you think you got out of them as starters today? Yeah, you know, Dre started the last couple games now uh, as we've kind of shifted and gone a little bit bigger. Um, and, you know, Dre got a couple bas- baskets around the rim. Got his hands on, on some rebounds, gives us some more physicality. Um, again, I think as he continues to get into better game shape, he can secure some more of those rebounds. Uh, I thought you know, his free throw rebound was one of the biggest plays of the game. You know, he gets a free throw rebound and then kicks it out to L.A. who makes a three for us. So um, huge play. And, and again, for a redshirt freshman, so another freshman for us uh, stepping up and making making a huge you know impact contribution. And uh, Zach is just such a warrior. I mean, you know, he didn't make a lot of shots today, but there you know the opposing team is always going to you know you know really guard him very tight and there's gonna be a lot of gravity towards him so he won't have a lot of space which opens the floor up for us he's a veteran guy i thought he guarded really well especially early in the game um had a little bit of trouble down the stretch containing the basketball but i just thought he really did a good job for us his veteran leadership is 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 critical for us you're probably concerned about defensive rebounding during stretches i guess right yeah but you know yeah yeah I mean, I, I watched Valpo rebound against other teams. I watched him against Vatek, you know, in the ACC, and I watched him against some high against Drake, you know, one of the, you know, obviously a multiple NCAA tournament team, rebound at a high level against some really good competition. So, I, I knew that they would be, you know, really tough on the glass. Um, again, when you force that many misses, you know, we force force them to forty four percent. We gave us such a huge number in the second half, but we forced a lot of misses. So. You know, it's hard. You got to really be disciplined to, and be physical to kind of go get it every time. So I think, again, our guys got a little bit lax in terms of, you know, we, we got some misses and didn't finish possessions, uh, had some careless turnovers where it's like, hey, guys, just finish it out. Finish it out. Let's not let them go on an 8-0 run uh, to make it close again. 
it does feel like Elon has been a bit susceptible to second half runs this half. Is there a pattern that you can kind of see in each of those games that have led to some of these runs for the opponents? Or I, I, again, I always go back to uh, it's hard to be up double digits in a Division One college basketball game. We're up 19 points against a Valley team or 17 points against a Valley team. Like that's a really good team. Like it's not. You're not going to continue to beat Valley teams by 20 points like or an ACC team. Like, we're up big, but, like, we earn that lead, and the other team plays well, too. They got good players. They give scholarships. They play hard, and they can, they continue to compete. Um, so it's, it's nice to be in that position where now we can kind of be critical of a, such a big lead and giving it up, where last year we were never in that position. So I think it's all about perspective. And uh, again, I, I give opponent a credit to the opposing team for just continuing to play hard and they, they got good players. Are your, is your team kind of where you're hoping it would be maybe at this point of the year other than TK's injury, but at least? Yeah, we certainly obviously, you know, not having TK kind of changes things for us, you know, just in terms of preparation. This is, uh, you know, he just turned it right when we got back from, uh, from Christmas break. So it would be nice to have him back out there so we can really see what our team is going to look like as we get into league play, kind of that Thursday, Saturday rhythm of games. But, but I, again, I like the way that we're playing. I like what we're doing. I like the contributions from some of our young guys, uh, again, stepping up in big moments for us, uh, making some key plays. And, and that's, uh, that's all that's exciting for us. Looks like you had one of your commits on the bench uh, today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, you know, what gave him the opportunity to, to what, what did you want him to gain from the experience of joining y'all today? Yeah, yeah. So he's, uh, he's going to join us for this spring semester. Um, so uh, he'll be, be able to practice with us and kind of start going through stuff and, and as he red shirts uh, during the spring. But great to have him on board with us um, and have Braden just kind of be around the team and just kind of soak it in, understand what we're doing offensively, defensively, how we prepare, uh, the kind of culture that we have, the values that we talk about. So any opportunity uh, that you can to get somebody in early uh, is nice. Obviously, football does a lot more. It's a lot more um, you know, prevalent in their sport with them being a fall sport. But for Braden, it just kind of worked out. We were able to get him here and, and uh, just kind of take advantage of a redshirt opportunity. So he's enrolled in classes mm-hmm. and all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. yeah. He'll be participating in J-Term. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. You know it. What a way to start your college <laughs> You know it. J-Term. Let's go. <laughs> Very cool. You must be thrilled with the depth you've developed, right? Is that part of the key to this whole thing? So yeah. Far? Yeah. Because, again, when you, when you lose a double-digit score like TK from the lineup, uh, you know, you can, you know, last year we obviously had that a lot. You know, we, we you know, the, the amount of missed games we had, whether it was JB being out, uh, Torrance's ankle, obviously Junkin's foot, you know, breaking that, you know, right before the Valpo game last year. And we just had no depth. And, you know, we just continued. We were trying to make it work with seven to eight guys, and it was really difficult. So uh, when you take a double digit score out of your lineup, uh, and and still able to win and beat a good team, I think is a, a strong statement for our ball club and the depth that we have and, and how guys are coming along. Hi, Coach. You awesome. Guys? Thank you, guys. Great. Happy New Year. Great. You too. Thank you. Thanks.